Hey gang, it's David again, back to you with yet another Adobe XD tutorial. And in this one, we are going to take a look at the text tool, which is a pretty important tool. So if that's something that you're interested in, just keep watching. So the text tool lies here in our toolbar, and uh, it has a, well, quite handy default shortcut of the letter T. Now, there are basically two ways how you can create a text uh, input field here inside. There are basically two ways in which uh, the text tool allows you to input text here inside XD. So you can simply just click and then start, you know, start typing what you want to, what you want to type, basically like that. And this is going to work something like a, you know, like an artistic piece of text. It, it would be better for like artistic um, purposes, I guess. So once you have your text, you can just use this little marker right here that to simply change uh, the size of your, of your text. But uh, if you don't want to do it, you can simply use the control plus shift plus the period key to increase the type size or control plus shift plus a comma to decrease the, uh, the font size. And of course, if you're on a Mac, instead of control, just use the command uh, key. And of course, in the properties inspector, you can change the font uh, family, you can change the size. Uh, so you can simply just, you know, type in some, some other value, let's say like 32. Or once, uh, once you're here, you can just press and hold down the, the up arrow key to just change uh, the size uh, to something bigger and uh, press the down arrow key to simply make your text uh, smaller. If you add the shift key to it, you're going to simply, you know, change that size in 10 point increments like this. And of course you've got all sorts of uh, other aspects that you can change about your, about your text. But uh, it's not, uh, basically it's not a video about, uh, you know, adjusting your text here inside XD, but the text tool. So I said that there are two ways of uh, adding uh, text here inside uh, XD using the text tool. So we first just clicked and then started adding our uh, text, but we can also with the text tool click and drag to create a text uh, field. And uh, of course now it would be a better idea to simply add some, some text to it. So let me just grab some lorem ipsum. Okay, so I'm just going to paste some, some dummy text like this. And as you can see, my text retained the, all the aspects of the previous text. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly change it and I'm going to use one of my assets that I'm using uh, for my design for my Adobe XD course. If you're interested in that, you can simply check the link uh, below. And I'm just going to use this ASAP 16 points, maybe, maybe like that. So now when we just drag this bottom handle down, you can see that we are changing the size of the text field. We are not changing the, uh, the font size like we did uh, before. And of course, in the properties panel, you got access to all the uh, text uh, adjustments. And so you can, of course, change the font uh, style again, the size, uh, the font, uh, font variant, all those things. And of course, you can also manipulate the paragraph alignment. But I think that what's, uh, what's more interesting is these three features, these three options right here. So right now we got this set to fixed size, which means that basically we are manually controlling the size of our text field. But we could also set this guy to auto height, which is going to adapt this text field to the height of our text. And we can also just click on the auto width that is going to adapt the width of our text uh, field. So sometimes when you simply, you know, have, uh, when, when you don't have enough text, but your text field is quite big, you can simply use these little options to simply, you know, adjust the, the width and the height of your text field. But uh, since we are talking about like adding text, uh, let me just show you what I usually use when I'm designing things like these. Uh, I usually use the, the plugin that is called uh, Lorem Ipsum, but uh, in order to just add uh, the text, uh, so like some dummy text to, to my design, I need to first create like a container. So I'm just going to quickly create it, uh, the, create something like this. And then from the Lorem Ipsum, I'm just going to add some text like that. And uh, let me just change its size to maybe my ASAP 16, like I did before. 
And as you can see, it looks pretty, pretty horrible. So in the uh, properties panel, you can also set the paragraph spacing. And as you can see, we can set the like the spacing between uh, the paragraph and the like the next, the following paragraph. So if I set something like 32, you can see that right now we got some nice, like <laughs> some nice spacing. And uh, if I just grab the text tool, if we just put it somewhere here, and let's say that I want to have a paragraph here, you can see that this paragraph, this this option has been retained to, um, well, it's been applied to all the paragraphs that are basically coming. And as you can see right now, we got this little red marker here that says that we got some overflowing text because of course we added uh, like a lot of text with that plugin. So if I now just were to make it bigger, you can see that we are that we can see some more paragraphs. Of course, th this is like our plugin settings dependent. So if we now were to just use this auto width function, you can see that we got quite a lot of text that we basically don't need. But but this is more like you know this. Uh, plugin thing uh, but you know this is something that you that should that, that you should be aware of when uh, creating text here uh, inside adobe xd so basically yeah this is how you can use the text tool just remember that you have like two fundamental ways of, of adding text um, with that uh, tool so if you just click uh, you're gonna be able to add something like an artistic a kind of text and if you click and drag you're basically going to be able to add like paragraphs of text so yeah so that's all from me i hope you enjoyed this uh, video definitely comment like and subscribe and you know as always uh, until next time have a nice design